there are a lot of dead here. I was seeing this guy playing the piano. He was showing me a girl uh, that would hang out with him when he would play the piano. So they may hear females talking. Like, I'm just getting flashes of them. So possibly people would see like that, these flashes, like, of these women. So, Chelsea, I understand uh, you're the general manager here. I am. From what I've heard, this place is kind of haunted. Yeah, actually, growing up in this building, there were two dead people I saw all the time. Tell me about the first one. Well, there was a girl by the name of Matilda that I used to play with all the time upstairs. OK. Was she nice to you? Did you guys get along? She was. She was um, a very light presence, very kind. So what about the other one? His name was Algernon, and he lived in the basement. He had a bit of a dark presence to him, almost evil. I knew there was something bad about him. Did they move on, you think? No, they're definitely still here. Why do you say that? Right when we were reopening the gopher hole, Okay. We were doing a lot of construction down there. Okay. And we might have upset him. I was shining a glass, and um, another one shot off the drink rack and hit a mirror right behind me, and I knew that was him. This glass was directed at you? Right past my face. So did anything else like that ever happen? Actually, there is a bottle in this actual room. Okay. Right up there, and it fell off the top of that ledge. Did you see it fall? From uh, security cameras after the fact. Do you have that available for me to look at? I actually do. Oh, jeez. Ooh, you're lucky somebody wasn't standing there. So, Chelsea, let me ask you a question. Anybody else you think I should talk to about what's going on here? Well, you could talk to Nancy down the street at the diner. And she's the owner? She is. OK. Mm -hmm. From what I could tell during my investigation, it seems like this whole town is haunted. Do you agree with that? I definitely do. I mean, it's the Wild West. Yeah. There's a lot of history here in Flagstaff. There's one male uh, who's here often. I think he was like some kind of manager, maybe, in like the 1930s or 40s. I think people see him, because I think he does stuff. I feel like he tries to guide people tries to influence their actions if they work here. So I think, like, maybe he might influence people to, like, you know, clean that table. But if they don't do what he wants, he can lash out. Uh, so that's interesting. <laughs>